Hey everyone, welcome back to Tennisshare. Want to transfer WhatsApp chats from your Samsung to an iPhone 16, but don't know how? Even though WhatsApp doesn't directly support this, we've got two methods for you. One requires resetting your iPhone, and the other is great for transferring large amounts of data without resetting. Let's get started. Method 1. Transfer WhatsApp from Samsung to iPhone with Move to iOS app. First, download the Move to iOS app from the Google Play Store on your Samsung phone. Keep both your Samsung and iPhone have over 80% of battery. Open the Move to iOS app on your Samsung and follow the instructions until you reach the screen that asks for a one-time code. To get this code, your iPhone needs to be in its factory new state. If it's not, you'll need to reset it to factory settings. Go to General in Settings. Scroll down to Transfer or Reset iPhone and tap Erase all content and settings. After resetting, start setting up your iPhone again. Continue through the setup steps. When you reach the Apps and Data screen, select Move Data from Android and tap Continue. A one-time code will appear on your iPhone. Enter this code in the Move to iOS app on your Samsung. You'll now see a list of data options to transfer. Scroll down, select WhatsApp, and then tap Start. Tap Next, and then Continue. The transfer is now complete. To finish up, complete the setup on your iPhone. Then reinstall WhatsApp from the App Store. Log into WhatsApp and tap Start to move your chats from Samsung. Be sure to allow any permissions when asked. And that's it. Your WhatsApp chats are now on your iPhone. If you'd rather not erase your iPhone, there's another way to transfer your WhatsApp data while keeping everything on your iPhone intact. Method 2. Transfer WhatsApp from Samsung to iPhone directly without data loss. First, we'll be using a tool called iCareFone Transfer. It's a professional WhatsApp data transfer and backup tool that works seamlessly between Samsung and iPhone. I've included the download link in the description. You can go have a try. So once you've installed it, you can follow along with these steps. Start by connecting both your Samsung and iPhone to your computer using USB cables. When both devices are connected, open iCare Phone Transfer and select WhatsApp as the app to transfer. Make sure the direction of transfer is set from Samsung to iPhone. If it isn't, you can easily reverse it with just one click. Now, click Transfer to get started. If prompted, you'll need to enable USB debugging on your Samsung phone. If it did not shown on your phone, you can follow the on-screen guide to open the USB debugging. This allows your device to communicate with your computer for advanced operations. All you need to do is open Developer Mode to enable USB debugging. Next, you'll need to create a 64-digit encrypted backup on your Android device. Open WhatsApp on your Android. Go to Settings, Chats, Chat Backup, and turn on End to End Encrypted Backup. Select the 64-digit encryption option, and WhatsApp will generate a unique code for you. Make sure to save this code by taking a screenshot or photo as you'll need it shortly. Then go back to create a backup. Now head back to iCareFone Transfer on your computer. It will get all the messages downloaded on your computer. Enter the 64-digit key when prompted and click Verify. After that, you'll have the option to choose the types of data you want to transfer whether it's text messages, voice notes, photos, or even stickers. Select what you need and hit continue. And log in your account on your iPhone. Once logged in, click login on iCare phone. Then your WhatsApp data will be transferred, your iPhone will restart, and nothing will be lost on your iPhone. You can now see that all your chats, media, and even stickers have been perfectly migrated. It's an incredibly simple process and most importantly, there's no risk of data loss. 
If you don't have access to a computer, don't worry. iCareFone also has a mobile app that allows you to transfer WhatsApp directly between your devices using a cable. It's just as effective and super convenient. Okay, I hope this video was helpful. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tech tips. Thanks for watching and see you next time.